In this tutorial, I will teach you how to understand the basics of special effects in TV Paint. To open the effects tag or the special effects, please click on this little icon that looks like a rabbit into a magician hat. So first let's add an effects with by a click on add effects just here. So you have many subcategories like blur, colors, distortion, keying, motion, paint, rendering, stylize, and transition. At the moment, let's focus on something very simple, the blur here, the Gaussian blur. So you will increase the Gaussian blur by increasing the different values here. And since I have added a Gaussian blur, the Gaussian blur will be efficient on the whole sequence. I can also add keys in order to make an interpolation, for example, from an image very blurred and an image without any blur. To add a key, let's click on this triangle and let's click on create key. Then I can go here and I can lower the values and automatically a new key is open here. So the little keys are symbolized with a plus. And so we can see the interpolation. We can add several blurs. For example, I can use now a color adjust. Color adjust will allow me to change the brightness or the contrast on an image. I can also change the angle of the hue value. And for example, if I wish to change the color on the whole spectrum, I will use this rotation part just here. So first I will create a key. So I can create a key like this, or I can create a key directly by clicking on the little key icon just here. And then I'll go here or here and I will put as a value. So it means there is a full rotation in the spectrum. In TV Paint, effects are destructive. It means if I apply no the special effects, I will affect definitely the pixels and the drawings made in the drawing space. So that's important to understand since if you apply an effect, save the TV Paint project and open it in two weeks, well, the, um, the effects is definitely applied. You can't cancel the apply. So keep in mind that it's always safer to have two files, one file where the effects haven't been applied yet and a file where the effects have been applied. The FX tag is always saved with a project. So if, for example, I close here my FX tag and I decide to create some new drawing on my rectangle, And if now I open the FX tag, the FX tag automatically adapts to the new elements. So now if I want to apply the special effects, I have different possibilities here. So first of all, we can define on which layer this FX tag will be applied. So by default, it's on current layer, but you can also decide to apply on current group. So if you have several layer inside the same color group. When you will apply the effect on a layer from a color group, it will affect the other layers from the same color group. But keep in mind, you can't see the change on all layers at the same time, simultaneously. You will only see the change on the current layer and then the effect type will be applied on the other layers. 
just to show you. Keep in mind as well that if you are in the FX stack, you can draw. If you need to draw, just uncheck preview and then you can draw again. So now, if in the preview I want to see the change, I will see it only on the current layer. But if I want to apply it on several layers, I will choose all layers. I can only see the display on the current layer. I will see the final result when I will apply the FX tag. Now, second part, we have here the selection or all instances. So selection means by default it will apply on the selection. If you don't have any selection, it will apply the change on the current frame only. So if you want to apply a change on the whole instance, choose all instances. Then you have the choice between layer auto breaks instance value, apply on frames or apply on heads. So layer auto breaks instance values means it will depend on the fact if uh, auto break is enabled or not on your layers. If you don't want to use this mode, you can choose to apply on frame or apply on the heads. What's the difference? When you apply on frames, you will auto break the instance on all frames. So it means you will lose the timing. Let me show you. So here I have applied the effect on the sequence on all layers, but I have lost the timing because I have chosen apply on frame. So I will cancel my choice. Okay, and this time I will apply not on frames, but on heads. And here is the result. I have kept the timing of the different instances.